Keep It Cool Man is a typing game, and while it does remind me of a game that taught me how to type, it's much more interesting. The dev has crafted some curious ways to send letters at you to type, and it would be very easy to say that they're evil, very evil people who designed this game, but I, I'm not gonna say that, I'm not gonna say that, but let me just show you what this game is and what makes it so difficult. Just to note, it is very short at about an hour. Maybe if you squeezed it enough, it's probably a little bit less though. Okay, so yeah, it's a typing game. The letters come at you from space. They get into the zone around your planet. Yes, we've moved to the moon. And then you hit the letter and it taps it. That's pretty much it. You can see there's a little keyboard to show you which keys are available to type, but that doesn't really help, honestly. That's pretty much it. I'm kind of a sucker for typing games. And this one is one of the most difficult ones I've ever played. You're never sure what the letters are gonna do. Sometimes they just zoom off into a different direction and they don't even hit your planet. So don't make that mistake. And like I said, the letters have to be inside that zone, which makes it so difficult to judge. I had fun challenging myself to get through some of these levels and the ways that they send the letters are ingenious, but it is again very short, under an hour of gameplay, and actually I didn't have to restart the levels too many times. If I did restart it was my own doing just to get a better score. Real quick, I wanted to show you why this game is so dastardly. You can move the ship which moves the circle where you have to type. So with the right hand, I'm trying to control the ship to move it around and then type with the left hand the letters in my brain. This is so villainous. I wonder if the developers are in hiding for fear of facing the consequences of their actions. I do want to note that there is story in between those levels that explain sort of what's going on with dancing and Mr. President and the moon and some reporters and stuff. I, I don't actually know and it doesn't really matter. They made it ridiculous. It is so far beyond ridiculous. Ridiculous doesn't even begin to describe what is going on in this game because I can't describe it to you, but it's, it's also secondary. You'll want to play this game for the typing. Overall, Keep It Cool Man is unusual and pleasing. I'm a huge fan of typing games, so I end up playing all of them that come across my computer. So while I had fun, I would really only recommend this game to people who love typing games and are looking for something, something else. While it's good, I wish there were more mechanics, more levels, more music, and uh, just more of everything, really. The point is, it's far too short and I don't know the price of the game when I'm making this video. So I can't tell you, and it's really none of my business to tell you, what is and what is not a good value. You will have to judge that for yourself. But I thought enough of the game to sit through and play it in one sitting. There are a lot of games where I just play 15 minutes and I'm like, eh, come back to it. And I, I didn't do that for this. And so that's something that doesn't happen a lot. Anyway, this video is over. Hit subscribe because how else would you find games like this? I hope you don't miss the next video. See ya.